Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to discuss about forward propagation in neural network. What actually happens inside the forward propagation? So let's get started. You can see there is one table appearing on the, my screen and uh, you can take it as a sample data set that we are going to uh, consider for our today's tutorial. So here we have three columns, age, income and buy insurance. Age and income are my independent variable. Independent variable means that I, these are my input variables and buy insurance is the variable or the column which I want to predict. This is my historical data like um, if I take it as like for the age of 19 year and with this income of 35,000, uh, I do not buy insurance, so, like users do not buy insurance. And for the age of 42 with the uh, income of 78,000, user buys the insurance. Zero represents no and one represents yes. Uh, so that means that uh, this is a kind of classification problem. Basically, we want to build a model which can uh, be trained over this data. And uh, then after training, it can predict whether a particular person will buy insurance or not. So this is our idea and this, this is our context. You can see that I have also written that X1, X2 and Y. I have taken these um, variable names X1 for the A is X2 for the income and Y is for my uh, target variable. So this is the uh, background or summary. Uh, now let us uh, let me show it to you that I have taken a sample neural network, a simple neural network. Basically, this is my first layer, which is input layer. You can see that X1 is age, X2 is income, which is passed to the next layer. Next layer is of hidden neurons, basically. And here I have taken only one neuron. There can be any number of neuron inside a hidden layer and there can be any number of hidden layers inside a neural network. And in the last, this is my output layer. For the simplicity purpose, I am just taking one hidden layer of neuron and one neuron is present. I have discussed in my one of the previous videos that what actually happens inside a neuron. Basically, two things happen inside a neuron. The first is one is the weighted sum, basically where we do this thing, which is W1 X1 plus W2 X2 plus B. So this is like my X1 is age and X2 is uh, my income in this case. So X1 is also given to me, X2 is also given to me and W1, W2 and B. At the starting, we will take these vari these variables as with some random values. We will initialize them and then we will calculate the uh, weighted sum. And once we calculate the weighted sum, we pass this weighted sum to the second part of the neuron. The second part of the neuron is activation function. This is and activation functions. I have also created a, a, a video on activation functions. If you have not checked it, please check that out. Check that video before uh, going coming on to this video. So uh, activation function. Uh, uh, basically are some sort of mathematical function. They do some cer certain calculation and will give you output. So here in such cases where as we have uh, 0, 1, true, false, this type of problem, we use uh, sigmoid activation function, sigmoid activation function. And the formula for is we do not need to remember it. I am just telling you for the uh, purpose of making a good understanding of the concept. Uh, sigmoid function is already implemented in the library. We just need to mention, we just need to kind of use it and uh, pick it and use it in our model. So this, these are the two steps that happens in, in the next layer of hidden neurons. Then uh, the, the, whatever the uh, output comes from here uh, is multiplied with W3 and passed as a output layer. So let's say this is my predicted value and Predicted value could be anything. Like for example, in this scenario, assume that my predicted value comes out at, as one. So once, then I will check that, uh, but in actual, my uh, for this row, my uh, actual value was zero, but my model predicted as, zero, as one. Whatever the model predicts, the next step in the forward propagation is to calculate the loss. Loss is the function, loss is basically the, that calculation in which we try to find out basically uh, how much is the gap between the actual and the predicted. So uh, that's what we try to find out in our loss function. So there are different type of loss function. The general one used here is y minus y hat 
whole scare. So whole scare is uh, basically scare is done just to uh, avoid the negative values. So uh, you see that from here till here, the how the information passed and what are the steps done. All those, all these steps are uh, the part of forward propagation. Like the information is uh, traveling from the input layer towards the output layer uh, step by step during the different layers, and we get the output and we calculate the loss from uh, loss as well. So till once we calculate the loss, um, that after calculating the loss, our forward propagation part completes. After forward propagation part is completed, we back propagate. And what we do in back propagate, we will discuss that part in our next video. So that's all for this video, guys. Keep uh, watching the uh, videos on the deep learning, machine learning. I have done, created a complete playlist for uh, absolute beginners. And um, if you want to uh, know more about data science, machine learning, and uh, so subscribe this channel. I have created a lot of content. And uh, till the next video, bye-bye, take care. Thank you.